Hello there, my beautiful people. How are you doing? Are you having an amazing day? If not, you are going to have an amazing day after this video because I said so. And you should be smiling right now because why not? If you don't know who I am, my name is Kira. Thank you for clicking on my video. And I am a singer and an actress and I'm also an LGBT activist. <gasps> Can I call myself that now? I really like making LGBT content, and if you guys want to see more videos about this topic, let me know in the comments below because I think that's starting to be a trend. And why not, right? It's fun. Like, I have a lot of fun doing these videos, so I'm gonna do more of them. Today, I am going to tell you about how I realized I was bisexual. I didn't always know, I realized it. The beginning of this year, so the beginning of 2017, I was 17 years old. It didn't come easily, so I'm just going to tell you how that was for me. And hopefully this helps you maybe... Ugh, that's my grandma calling me. So I grew up Roman Catholic, I was baptized Catholic, I always went to a Catholic school, and I was always taught that being gay was a sin, being gay was wrong, it was dirty, it was gross, and no one really, like, no one you knew was gay um, because that was such a, like, frowned down upon thing. Like, no one talked about it, at least in my, like, church and in my school and stuff like that. If I ever had any type of, you know, thoughts about other girls, I would always, like, stifle them because I knew that, like, being gay was wrong. That was just something that I didn't want to be seen as because I was afraid and because people just drilled into my head that it was wrong, which is completely awful. And I'm realizing this now that like I came out like way later than I could have because of that, because I was like stifling that part of me. Ever since I was younger, I kind of knew I liked girls, but I also liked guys. So since like being gay wasn't really okay in like my school and in my church, I was like, well, I like guys, so I'll just like, you know, ignore the fact that I kind of like am attracted to girls because I also like guys. So let's just focus on guys because you know you're attracted to guys. So I always had crushes on guys growing up. Um, I did have little crushes on girls now that I think about it, but I would never want to like say anything like that out loud because of like fear of judgment and stuff like that. But I remember like, you know, looking at some of the girls in my class and I'm like, wow, they are beautiful. But I never wanted to like say anything or act upon it because I was scared. As time went on, I went into high school and it was a lot more accepted, even though I did go to a Catholic high school. Um, I had a lot of LGBT friends, and I think just them being there and them sharing their story helped me a lot. Um, and also, I created an LGBT club in my 12th year of high school, or my 12th year of school. Um, and that was an amazing turning point for me because not only did I help other people in the school, like, come to the realization of who they are um, and you know I gave them a space to feel loved and appreciated and a safe space where they could talk about that kind of thing. I also got a lot out of it myself just hearing other people's stories and like realizing that yeah it's not a big deal like I am attracted to girls and at first I didn't really want to label myself like I remember there was this like point in time where I was like I don't want to label myself, I'm floating in the void. Like, I literally was like, my sexuality is, I'm floating in the void. <laughs> so, like, I didn't really identify as bi, I didn't really feel like that label fit me, um, which is completely cool, like, you don't have to label yourself, like, labels are just, you know, labels can be a good thing, but labels also can be kind of restrictive. So it's like up to you if you want to label yourself. At first, I totally didn't. Also, I was like kind of unsure. I was like, you know, am I demisexual? Am I bisexual? I wasn't really sure. I thought I was demisexual for a while. Eventually, I became okay with the fact 
that I am bisexual. And now I'm super proud of my identity because it's part of who I am and God made me this way and I am glad that I am part of the LGBT community because I can share my story and I can help others through their journey as well. So I'm so grateful that I was put in this position. I've just come to the realization that I'm starting to love myself like more and more every day and that's so, so important. Like, you need to love yourself in order to love other people and to love your situation. And like, even if things aren't going so great in your life, you still gotta love yourself unconditionally for everything that you are and your flaws. This was kind of a, a sidetrack. Um, I just went on a little tangent about like self-love. But self-love was an important part of my journey because I did have to accept who I am and I'm so happy that I did and I'm so happy of everything that I am. So I guess I should include this part because it is part of my journey and it's kind of like a recent discovery about myself. Um, I realized that I am homosexual and bi-romantic, which means I am only sexually and physically attracted to women, but I am both romantically attracted to men and females. Yeah. So I was struggling with this for a long time because I realized that I didn't really have like physical or sexual attraction toward men, and I'm like, what does that mean? Does that mean like I'm gay? Does that mean, like, what does that mean about my identity, you know what I mean? But it's totally okay to have different, like, types of attraction. Most straight people, both their physical and emotional attractions are the same. They're for the opposite gender. Um, but for me, they're completely different. So I did realize that I'm only sexually attracted to females and I'm romantically attracted to both genders. And, like, I guess the turning point for me was I started watching Orange is the New Black and I started having these like intense crushes on the women in the show and I was like, Kira, like think about what this means. I wanted to like kiss girls, like it's more than just thinking like girls are beautiful, it's like I want to kiss them, I want to be in a relationship with them, like just as I do with boys, I still to this day have a massive crush on Samira Wiley. And I was like, hmm, why is that? <laughs> Everyone's story is different and everyone defines their label as whatever they want. One could argue that I am pan because I would date someone that's non-binary or gender neutral. I use the label bi because more people know what it is. It's just easier like to explain to people, but I have nothing against dating someone who is gender neutral. Yeah, that is my story. Um, if you guys want to hear more about me, about my bi-ness, about the LGBT community, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, if you got something out of it, if you relate to the story, let me know. Like it, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that right now. And if you want notifications of my weekly uploads, I upload every Tuesday, hit the notification bell. And I will see you next week!